Yo, BJ Gador with the Daily BJ. This is the electric slide. You can use a slide board, you can use fitness sliders on carpet or turf or socks on a wooden floor. Lots of ways to get it in. Subscribe to my channel. Here are the moves. The workout description is in the video description. We're gonna start with some stability work with slow tempo. So we're gonna elevate the leg. And also if you have an unstable surface like a sand dune stepper, that works too. You can also elevate on a low box or step, a weight plate, whatever you have access to. We're gonna go four seconds out, two second hold, bring it back. So one, two, Three, four, pause for one, two, pull back quick. One, two, three, four, one, two, pull back quick. So we're working the eccentric slowly, really stretching hip flexor and quad trail leg. Elevating the leg also extends the range of motion, more knee and hip flexion for more quad and glute work. It's also very easy on the knees and for long work periods, one of the best ways to build muscle and stability with low impact on the joints. You'll do the other side the next set, okay? Then we do a slide out with the same tempo, stretching and activating lats, killing the core, improving shoulder mobility, great pairing with the leg work. So get on, I like to have a nice pillow pad for the knees. This also, if it's high enough, will extend the range of motion a bit so I get more range of motion and stretch into my lats, more of a core challenge. So one, two, three, four, hold for one, two, Bring it back. One, two, three, four. Hold for one, two, bring it back. The key on this, especially at the end, don't just slide out. Actively push hard down into the slide board, the ground, to make sure we activate those lats and kind of almost round out the upper back a bit to really lock in good core position. You wanna feel nothing in the low back. It's all abs, shoulders, lats, okay? So that's kind of the first part of the workout. Slow tempos extended time under tensions, awesome kind of shred meets gains protocol. Then we're gonna go into some other good stuff here too. You're gonna to put the slides, either if you have a slide boards in the ground, we're gonna go mixed tempo. This is kind of a Metcon circuit now, more stamina emphasis. Mixed tempo mountain climber. So I'm gonna get like this, start with some slow climbs. Notice how all the movement is through my hips. I'm not, you know, rounding my back. It's all through, it's all hip flexion. Abs, hip flexor, shoulders, core, and then I do some fast. Go back to slow. It's on your cadence between slow and fast. Just mixing tempos, getting some fast twitch, getting some slow twitch, getting some power, getting some stamina, all in one set. From there, we're going into one of my favorite ways to destroy the hamstrings, right? So the hamstrings have two main functions. I get asked all the time, what do you do for the back of your leg? Why is it so developed? I don't know. I think my hamstrings get my calves in some sort of scientific experiment, but I also do the right hamstring movements and there's two main functions, knee flexion and hip extension. Sliding leg curls work both functions. You have to maintain hip extension isometrically as you flex the knees back and forth by adding this pulsing component as well. Uh, by the way, I like to actually elevate the head because it puts myself in kind of a slight crunch position where I can better maintain abdominal crunch, a posterior pelvic tilt, which actually allows more, more glute activation. So I just prefer it. I think it's a better option. I'm gonna come up here. You start fully extended. Again, hip extension maintained throughout, abs engaged. Pull all the way in, and then do three quick pulses at that end range. Come back. Three quick pulses in that shortened, contracted position, and all the way out. This will be such a burner. You got no idea what's coming to those ham hocks. All right, next one. This one is just slippery. It's a slippery movement. I'm gonna go take these babies off. Sliding push-up complex. So it, not only is this one of the best ways to access a single arm push-up without the crazy stability demands that are tough on sometimes the spine and the shoulders if you're not ready for it, but we do kind of a complex where we start in a low position, kind of grease the groove, but also strengthen the shoulders and core muscles, chest, triceps isometrically. And then we go into a more full range of motion movement and a state of free fatigue. So these are like, to me, these are like heavy presses, but we get a core component and I just love it. So we get down here, you're gonna hold. By the way, this can be modified by just doing it on the knees. I'm gonna hold this position and then just alternate arms. So as I do that, one arm has to hold more of the weight. I'm also stretching and strengthening the lats, all right? The first 30 seconds like that, then you come up and then it's the normal reps with a little more speed of movement or as fast as you can, obviously, you're gonna get tired. 
The key is got to keep those hips and shoulders square to the ground. Don't sag the hips. Final movement, total face melter. I always like to end my circuits with a, you know, a real kick in the dick to finish. So we're going to do mixed tempo sliding switch lunges, lower impact version of split jumps. Also the friction action, the sliding action incorporates both a vertical and a horizontal force vector, which actually gets more glute ham activation as you do it. So you'll start with a couple slow ones, 90 degree angles, opposite arm legs, stay tall, switch. And then the big thing is just gonna hold for one or two seconds between switches and then do some fast. Just continuous up and down, do the best you can. Stay stable, hold for one, two, slow it down again. Slow it down again. And it's on your cadence, just have fun mixing and matching between kind of that slow versus fast twitch pattern. Over the course of a minute though, the metabolic stress is off the charts, fat loss, muscle gain. I'm opening up my 2019 training plan called Gorilla Corn Gains High End Coaching. If you wanna train just like I do, they're longer workouts, you gotta train more often during the week, you gotta have access to all the tools, all the equipment, but 50 men all over the world are gonna do it with me. And Gorilla Corn Gains is where shred meets gains, the holy grail of simultaneous fat loss muscle gain. Go to GorillaCornGains.com today to get on the wait list. Only 50 spots are gonna go fast. Love you guys, peace.